seeing them be successful <laughs> going to the bathroom um, really makes me proud because it makes me feel like I'm doing it right or at least I'm doing something right. So we thought, well, if we introduce them to the toilet, it might be a little easier to get them to go. Where do you go to make pee pee? How about when you make poo poo? And when they were about two years old, we started introducing them just, if they did anything in their diaper, we would go dump it in the toilet and then have them sit in the toilet. At least that way they weren't scared of it. And then the fun part was always flushing because they like the sound, they like watching it go. A lot of people say for boys, when you're teaching them to stand, they know it's supposed to go in the water and they can't get it in and they know that they can't do that. So a good technique is to put like cereal or like Cheerios in the toilet, let them float, and then have your son kind of aim for them and shoot them in the toilet. It makes it like a little game, so it's fun for them, but at the same time teaching them to pee in the water and not like all along the side of the toilet. The other thing we did was I made a little chart, I bought stickers, and every time they did it correctly or they at least told me that they had to go to the bathroom, even if they had an accident, if they said something, they got a sticker. And they got to put the sticker by their name on the chart. And so, yeah, like they, they actually like that. So sometimes when they finish going, they go, I want stickers. I'm like, okay, we'll get stickers and you can put it on your chart. So you put it here now. Put it by your pee-pee, this one. There you go, okay. Good job. I think it's very important to communicate with the whoever's taking care of the children, whether it's the grandparents, I guess, or a babysitter, and especially at the child care center because they're not with you. We were surprised to find that at the daycare, they actually kind of potty train them while they're there by taking them to the bathroom as often as possible. Like they said, maybe every hour, every half hour, they'll take them in and just say, do you need to go? Do you need to use the bathroom? At the daycare center, they're the ones who actually told us to bring them as often as possible. So I try to do that here because I know that's what they're getting at the daycare center. That way they kind of see a similarity between the two and they're not as afraid to tell their teacher, I got, I have to go to the bathroom. If it's the same routine, then the kids will be more comfortable that way. But we bought underwear with characters on them, and basically when they wear it, I tell them, you know, that the character on the underwear is going to get mad if they pee or they poop in it. At the daycare, they're saying sometimes seeing their peers go to the bathroom and then comparing underwear like, oh, I have this character, or I have this. Sometimes that actually motivates them to go because they see that, oh, well, my peers can do it. Why can't I? What's that on the floor, baby? When we first put them in underwear, it was hilarious because they were trying to hide that they had gone to the bathroom. Um, Seth actually stood on his tippy toes and walked around all funny because he knew he was wet. We took out the video camera and when they had their accidents, you know, they're still standing over the spot where they went. I just changed Sean's underwear and he peed again. What is that? And they'll be like, it's wet. Well, why is it wet? And it's just funny. If we just laughed about it, it was, you know, the frustration kind of went out the window because now the kids are laughing. Usually if we laugh, they echo it. It just made it cute instead of frustrating that they had, you know, had an accident. The fear and the embarrassment, I guess they just don't have that because we made it so much fun and we made it funny for us and for them when they went.